you can earn rewards for participating in Algorand Consensus through Folks Finance. This video will give you all the details and instructions you need to join Consensus and start receiving rewards with no coding. Let's go. Algorand's consensus mechanism is what keeps the chain reliably creating and approving blocks. For more specific details, check out What is Algorand, another video available on Folks Academy. You can also find information about consensus on the Algorand developer portal. The link will be in the description of this video. Participating in Algorand consensus means properly staking Algo through a node. The node will then be able to propose the creation of blocks or vote on the approval status of blocks. Before we learn how to join consensus, there are some very crucial points for you to understand in order to be successful. Give me a minute to explain and then we'll get into the tutorial. You don't need to run a node or stake all the time to access rewards. The rewards earned will be based on the amount of blocks a node proposes. Users with low stake may earn very little or no rewards because of this. You can check the minimum required stake to propose blocks on app.metrica.co slash Algorand. Metrica is a blockchain analytics app. The link will be in the description of this video. The first step of joining consensus on Folks Finance is to mint Gialgo. The opportunity to mint Gialgo is available in the first two weeks of each quarter, coinciding with the opening of a new Algorand governance period. If you do not have any minted Gialgo currently, you will not be able to earn consensus rewards through Folks Finance until you get another chance to mint Gialgo. In this video, I do not have any Gialgo minted through this wallet. I'm still able to show you how to join consensus, but without any minted Gialgo, my stake is too low to propose blocks, and therefore I would not earn any rewards. We will be using OST's one-click node to join consensus. This is an external application built by a member of the Algorand community, HighForge founder Austin Probst. It is not an official folks finance app. Therefore, it is not officially endorsed. The open source code for the app is available on Austin's GitHub page for review. To get started, navigate to Austin's GitHub page. The link is shown on screen and will be in the description of this video, or you can search Aust's one-click node and find the page. Make sure it is the real GitHub page. Navigate to the releases page and download the version compatible with your operating system. .exe is for Windows, .deb is for Linux, and .dmg is for macOS. Open and install the downloaded file. Open the OST one-click node application. Allow the node to sync. This may take some time. Do not close the application or shut down your operating system while the node is syncing. For reference, while recording this video, the syncing process took about 45 minutes. While syncing, the node is collecting historical data of the Algorand chain. Next, open the consensus modal on Folks Finance and copy the escrow address. Make sure the wallet you use to mint Gialgo is connected to the Folks app. Click the blue wallet button on OST's one-click node. Click add next to watch. Paste the escrow wallet you copied from Folks Finance. Click add again. Click generate keys and wait a few minutes for the generation to complete. It may take five to 10 minutes. Once the keys are generated, copy and paste the following from OST one-click node into the modal on Folks Finance. Vote key, selection key, state proof key, vote first round, vote last round, and vote key dilution. Click register on Folks Finance's consensus modal and sign with your wallet. Your node should show online status within 60 seconds. After about 300 rounds, which means 300 blocks, you will begin to see your blocks proposed and blocks voted metrics go up. With block times currently about 3.4 seconds, going officially online should take about 15 to 20 minutes. Following these steps should have brought your algo stake online. Here's some important information you should know. When using OST's one-click node, the app must stay on at all times to continue running the node. Quitting the app, closing, or turning off your computer will interrupt the connection. Finally, keep track of the vote last round and regenerate your keys before that round comes to pass. It's recommended to regenerate keys at the start of each governance period. We hope this video helped you get started with consensus through folks. If you have any questions, join our social channels and ask our community. See you next time.